I don't know, you know, with Gina. <laughs> Gina. <laughs> I know, no, no, Gina. It's love bites, but sometimes she gets. Oh, she bites just so. It's not hard, guys. It's like a nip. You walk up with such confidence. Hey, Nancy. But there's the boss. Hello, boss. Mwah. Here we have uh, Bongo, who you can see is um, exhibiting a very um, submissive behavior to uh, um, Luke. So what's really quite disturbing to some is when there are these fights for dominance. They go for very specific areas when they are, when they are dominating or fighting. It's normally a, a biting on the, the back of the neck towards the shoulder area. So they actually just grab and rip and grab and rip. It's quite a horrible sound if you ever are unlucky enough to, to witness it. Uh, they bite ears, so they do a lot of ear biting. They latch onto ears and, and pull. Uh, you must know how tough their ears are because sometimes their ears do rip or rip off. And the other place that they, they tend to bite is the penis. All right, guys, so exactly what I was talking about when I was with the boys about the dominance um, and then the backbiting. And here we have an example of backbiting. Um, that's on Woody. Woody's second in command. That's Nancy. You can see she's got a, a back that's full of scars from backbiting. And there is the culprit. Miss Gina. So Gina has been backbiting and there's a, a bit of a hierarchy push in this clan and it's uh, been instigated by this hyena, Nancy. I'll have to tend to that. So the trick about that wound is to keep it clean I'm going to have to go and get some uh, of the sprays and spray the wound and then put some of the fly cream in, in and around the wound. But those wounds can take forever to heal, especially if the other hyena keep on uh, harassing her. So, yeah. You guys, man. Anyway, we'll have to monitor it. I don't, I'm not sure it is uh, bad enough to warrant calling the vet. Um, so let's just see. All right, so there you have it, guys. From the boys to the girls, and already, already there's drama. Yeah, uh, obviously Gina being the dominant, she's the matriarch. She's ruled with an iron fist for a long time. Uh, Nancy is her daughter. Woody is unrelated. And then there's another hyena in here, and uh, his name is Ringo. There he is. Mr. Ringo doesn't want anything to do with the girls and their antics. Yeah, poor old Woody, man. Woody! Goody, goody, Woody! Sorry, my puddy. Such an annoying, annoying place to be bitten as well. Such an annoying space. And this is just, ah, she's just such a horrible girl at times. Hey? You walk up with such confidence. Hey, Nancy? But there's the boss. Hello, boss. So every time I come into the hyena clan, I just uh, let them get all the sniffing out the way. Obviously, I've been with the boys. So that is uh, piquing their curiosity. It's not an issue. It's not a problem. They just need to um, understand that it is Kev. And uh, they need to understand who I've been with. And then they need to just uh, relax a bit. And then we can get on with today's video. Females with penises, hey, Nancy, Woody, Gina, Gina, <laughs> who would have thought? So up until the 50s, guys, here's, a, here's an interesting one. Up until the 50s, scientists and uh, many people believed spotted hyenas to be hermaphrodites because what they saw was a whole bunch of males 
walking about and then suddenly all of a sudden there were cubs and uh, yeah for those uh, in the know watching who were lucky enough to to see hyenas giving birth these crazy animals gave birth uh, through their penises so you can just imagine what uh, the thought process back in those days was this hermaphroditic weird animal um, both sexes um, exuding a, a penis um, crazy 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 um, but we now know that that's not true we now know that uh, the ladies exhibit these pseudo thalluses and I'm hoping that one of them will show us their pseudo thallus um, it is an extended clitoris as I've mentioned before and then they do have a pseudo scrotum with the little kind of fat globules and it has been something that has perplexed scientists for many many years and and actually to this day let's see maybe we're going to get a ceremonial greeting yes we are um, so Gina's getting Nancy her daughter to lift her leg Nancy's not really playing ball so we're not going to get a glimpse of Nancy nor Gina's pseudo thallus uh, we don't really want to see yours Ringo because we've seen the boys we want to see the girls we want to see how well endowed the girls are <laughs> Gina, you're a, you're a funny girl. You're a funny girl. As I say, Gina is 20 years old and has ruled with an iron fist uh, pretty much since she was a youngster. She was born feisty. She's always been the feisty one. She hasn't really lost control over this group. This group's uh, changed in size over the years. Um, she's ousted a few individuals and uh, yeah, she's certainly uh, not the easiest. <laughs> she's not the easiest um, of leaders, but she's a good leader. And I am happy to say that I am on her good side. Ooh. When they are these little critters that are just born, and for those of you who don't know, hyenas are called cubs and not not pups. A lot of people think because they do have these dog-like attributes that they should be called a hyena pups. And so there's a lot of confusion. But although they do have uh, cat-like -like traits, their closest living relative, as we all know, is the mongoose family. They're in a class of their own, hyena da. Ow! <laughs> Gina da. <laughs> in a class of their own. <laughs> Gina da. <laughs> Gina da. So they breed all year round. Their estrus is multiple estruses throughout the year, but uh, they last about two weeks. Mating, as you can imagine, it's tricky. It can last anywhere between 10 uh, minutes or, f or two minutes actually, two minutes and 10 minutes, and they mate multiple times in that estrus period. The interesting thing is if a female uh, has to be receptive, so she has to be receptive firstly to a male, um, because to copulate, she has to have her pseudothallus enveloped, so it has to be uh, internalized. It can't be, if she uh, makes her, her pseudothallus rigid and she um, um, makes it like a, like a rigid or hard penis, then there's no way a male can actually uh, mate through that. So there's no way, it's like an anti-rape device, if you will, in the hyenas. And so it's a very clever ad adaptation. She can mate with who she wants. Only when she's receptive, mating normally happens <laughs> around, mating normally happens at night time. So it's, it's, it's very rare. It's very rare if you see a spotted hyena um, mating in the day. There has been recent uh, videos. Ooh, she's showing us her teats. Look, there's her teats. I don't know, you know, with Gina, <laughs> Gina, <laughs> I no, 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 Gina, it's love bites, but sometimes she gets, oh, she bites just so, it's not hard, guys, it's like a nip, I don't even want to explain, it's like a nip, so, yeah, if I don't do what she wants, or if I talk too much, then she starts to do these little nips, 
So just sleep like that, my girl. That's nice. Yes, close your eyes and sleep. If I get the right spot, you'll behave yourself. Yeah, so where were we? You're not gonna you're not gonna get the better of a female if she doesn't want you to. And uh, that's just the nature of the beast. It's a very clever protective mechanism. The other thing that she can do is if she's mated with you and then she decides that she doesn't want your sperm to fertilize her eggs, she just urinates and uh, flushes you out. So there's another adaptation that really helps her control um, who, she, um, who she allows to come forward in terms of uh, genetics. Very, very smart. Spotted hyenas, normal gestation, about 115 to 120 days. 115 to 120 days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting abused here. No, I don't like being abused. Gina! <laughs> She's so playful for a granny, but what she does do is she, she nips in such a way that she just grabs the, the edges of your skin and then um, it pinches. You can imagine, she's got 800 pounds per square inch in those jaws. Also, although she thinks she's been gentle, she's not. I'm not a hyena, so I don't like to be annihilated. Hello, my darling. You're back. How's that back? Oh, we'll have to have a look at that. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have a look at that. We'll see if there we can maybe make that a bit better. If we can make that a bit better, we'll see how it goes. And if not, we're gonna have to call Dr. Coldwell, okay? Okay, Wood? Yeah. Uh, so there's old uh, Nancy cleaning Woody's wound, which makes me think that it was Gina who probably inflicted that wound on uh, Woody. She's moving off. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do like and share. Um, if it's the first time you've come across the channel, Line Whisperer TV, subscribe! Just hit that button. And uh, if you want to take it one step further and enjoy more exclusive content, become a member. Go and check it out. You won't be disappointed. And uh, you can always cancel your membership if you don't enjoy what you are seeing. Uh, no strings attached. So yeah, thanks for um, always watching. I appreciate the support. And until next time from me, Kevin, Gina, Woody, Nancy, and Ringo. Bye.